And here, look, today I'm seeing all the first first playoff the first playoff rankings of the season. Let's see what number is Alabama in this ranking. Yeah. Alabama's number eight, everyone. Mercy. Oh, has not yet. Yeah, Alabama's kind of figured themselves out here Yeah, I hope they be LSU. If they be LSU this week, I'll be more happy. Texas. Hope Alabama if that, if these guys from we're gonna see what let's all go to the top five. Oh look these look these rankings still look pretty good. It's very good. The darkness. I also did it on my success. My previous. I'm gonna look at my passcode, everyone. That's stealing my personal information. And although the internet needs to be connected. I look at Oklahoma behind Texas, who they beat. I just think that that should be the ultimate differentiator. If you won the game head to head, Almost difficult. And if you have the, the trick or treaters are here. Behind the team that you beat on the playing field. They want us to move, but there's one caveat there that makes it difficult. There was a situation earlier, and I was just told her in the AP, where you had. Well, now I'll be right back. So, does it have to be that? Because I, I think Kirk is probably fair right now to give a lot of credence to the head to head, but at the same time, you can look at the entire season and say, okay. Ah, uh, man, on time. Head to head should matter when the, everything else is close, and it's like, well, these guys beat them head to head. If, if a team is terrible, even though they beat this one team, but they haven't been consistent in all the other weeks, I think it's fair for the committee or anybody to be subjective enough to be able to realize, wow, hey, I know they beat them head to head, but if you looked at these two teams before and after that one matchup, it's it's two it's two different teams. It's obvious it's a better team, even though they lost that day. So if it's even. I agree with Greg. It's no problem. I have no problem saying, okay, they, they won head to head. But if it's sitting there at the end of the year, 11 and 1 and 11 and 1. I, I might have to put my Xboxes back up. I might have to put my Xbox one in my closet. The other team should go. All right, let's look at the top six now and count it down from number six because there's some intrigue tonight about who's going to be. Let's use in the top four. Oregon, number six. Just because it's going to sign, there's no more Clemson. Clemson needs about no name next year. Clems K Club and Clems, you'll get better. Ooh, Florida State Seminoles. I hope Florida I hope Florida knocks them out of the rankings. 
playmakers on the outside at, at the wide receiver, Johnny Wilson and Keon Coleman. I think they're one of the better teams in the country. Surprised to see them this low at four, though, Reese. Okay, so, Greg, if you look at this now, the three teams left that we haven't seen yet, two-time reigning national champion Georgia, playoff teams from last year, Michigan and Ohio State. Before we unveil, yeah. who's going to be at number three? Who do you think? I think at number three, it's going to be Michigan. And, and it's entirely about the strength of schedule. They've looked dominant. They've looked complete. But against who? Who's, who's number three? Rutgers and UNLV. It's just not up to the par of some of the other teams. I'd say number three. Guess they're right. <clears throat> Michigan at number three. Now there's drama. Two teams that played a classic in the college football playoff last year. Georgia and Ohio State. Dogs won it at the very end by a single. Who's number two? Oh, number two. Kirby <clears throat> Smart is doing backflips right now. Number two. <laughs> Hope they're going to be Missouri. Ohio State. See, that's all the rankings you got here. Let me take a picture. Ohio State, in terms of dominance, hasn't looked like Georgia or Michigan, really even Florida State in a lot of the games. However, they easily have the two. That's all the rankings right now. He saw this right. So, Marissa and McGuire, if you're watching this, please give me some love and huge thumbs up. So, I'm telling you, so. I hope you so. Want, so I hope you are all hope all of you are still having a great Halloween ween today and this year. So remember to rate, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And bye.